What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Darian. This is Jeremy, and we are DJ React. Today, uh, we're doing the Rise of Bang Tan, Chapter Two. Yeah, we'll do so. <clears throat> the first one was really intriguing. Yeah, it was huh? pretty cool, man. I actually like these series. <clears throat> well yeah, we put together too. Yeah, we've watched a lot of like um, other guides. I won't mention their names because I don't want to shit on them, but they're more of like TikTok collages and just kind of goofy silly stuff i feel like the younger generation might like but yeah, for two grown thing. men it, 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 some of them are a little weird for us to watch yeah, really childlike almost like what teenagers or young kids would be watching that we're more interested really in like the facts like yeah. how, how they started and everything this is like does Doc an amazing job yeah like documentary style there has to be a storyline <laughs> to it not just a whole bunch of random stuff they found on tiktok and slapped together right yeah um, so guys, real quick, I want to apologize. Like I said before, our computer has crashed. It doesn't screen record anymore. Neither does the other one. The other one just edits. So if you see our reflections in the screen, we apologize. We're just improvising for now until we can raise enough money to get another computer. So if you guys could go over to GoFundMe and help us out, link in the description and link at the uh, link. Yeah, it's up to the top at left the end of the him. video up here and in the middle of the video or actually no, right now it should be above your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so also we want to thank our GoFundMe people who have donated to us. We really appreciate yeah, you, guys. you guys are awesome. We appreciate the support of all of our Patreons. You guys have been amazing to us too, especially the two members that have given us all the notes for a lot of these videos. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. all right guys, let's jump right into this. The rise of bang tan chapter two. Let's get it. Bring it on. Close my eyes for a long time. I've dreamed this dream. Life is a zoo in the jungle. We got to find and get our weapons to rumble. Mm -hmm. And BTS with the kids who are too cool for school. Mm -hmm. And too bad to be good. It's all the pictures. Mm. Fight for my generation. Mm -hmm. Fight for my music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because this cold world has no more dreams. Dream. So don't. Making a debut after a long preparation, how can the singer and album make an appeal to the general public? Korea has around 4,000 official labels slash entertainment companies slash businesses that make or produce albums. K-pop is so competitive. You have hundreds of groups debut every year. Wow. Um, and it's, you know, maybe 1% is going to stay around for a few years. Korea has a relatively small home market, so it has to think about developing a product that will appeal to overseas markets. I really do not like or appreciate that they try to pigeonhole like K-pop and like the Korean music industry as like this super like factory corporate like machine. Because where the hell do you think we got that from? Up until a certain point, I think we were very much influenced by the Western. I'm not saying that it's right or that it's wrong, but it, it, it's just what needed to be done in order to branch out. I mean, that's been around for a very, very long time, and it happens in everywhere else, too. They only focus on, like, a few specific cases where that happens and then make it seem like every single part of this scene here is like that. There are systematic, rotten problems in the idol training system. The way that it's become like an, a simplified, generalized narrative about the dark side of K-pop and how this bland, obvious statement seems to resonate in headlines shows that there's a problem in the way Western media perceive this new Asian culture. You know, there's a misconception that Korean, so like Korean... Western society is putting out all those articles on them? I don't think so. 
I think they were trying to break into Western music, you know, into our area to where they could have a broader audience. So they had to try to do what they could to appeal to the U.S. or European markets. But he said he doesn't like that they label them as like a factory machine and everything's kind of just like the same. Yeah. So is it was it America that was writing those bad articles? Oh, maybe. maybe yeah. Did you I see what the article said? No, I didn't see it. I, you want to restart the video? Well, just do the little. Do go back a couple. Let's see. It. As around 4,000 official labels slash entertainment companies slash businesses that make or produce albums. K-pop is so competitive. You have hundreds of groups debut every year. Wow. Um, and it's, you know, maybe 1% is going to stay around for a few years. Korea has a relatively small home market. So it has to think about developing a product that will appeal to overseas markets. I really do not like or appreciate that they try to pigeonhole like K-pop and like the Korean music industry as like this super like factory corporate like machine. Because where the hell do you think we got that from? Up until a certain point, I think we were very much who influenced. Is they? That's what I was just about to ask. Who is I'm they? not saying that it's right or that like, it... the U.S. Who is saying that? Like, and he's like, where do you think we got that from? Maybe they're talking about the U.S. now. Hold on. It's wrong, but it, it, it's just what needed to be done in order to branch out. I mean, that's been around for a very, very long time, and it happens in everywhere else too. They only focus on like a few specific cases where that happens and then make it seem like every single part of this scene here is like that. There are systematic rotten problems in the idol training system. The way that it's become like a simplified generalized narrative about the dark oh, side of K-pop and how this bland obvious... Ooh. So world in progress, the dark side of K-pop. So who the fuck is this published by? Is this like... Is this Korean articles or is, are these American? Source Baby Gang, whoever Baby Gang is. Baby Gang is a YouTube channel too. Huh. Well, they got it from Baby Gang, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's publishing. Where's the statement coming? seems to resonate Paul's in BBC News. Oh, that's so British. That's, that's British European news. Um, At least for that one. I yeah. don't know what the other headlines are. shows that Paul's, there's a problem. Yeah, can you see the other ones? hard to see yeah yeah i can't really tell i got them like blurred so shows that there's a problem in the way western media perceive this new asian culture yeah so it's the western media basically gotcha. okay all right that makes sense problem in the way western media perceive this new asian culture you know there's a misconception that korea and like korean industry is like somehow more corporate and n no even if there are certain things that they have to do, like choreography and stuff like that, right? They still have enough room to, um, you know, write songs and be, be creative. Back in the day, heavy metals and rock, the rock stars, rock, you know what I mean? They are kind of like K-pop. Now, you got to have some characters. They wear crazy makeup and all that hair. And so this is what's happening with K-pop. Rock stars be born, you know what I mean? So what is yeah, it they like said, living as a K-pop? When, when we said in like past videos, when we first started watching them, they're like, why, why are they wearing so much makeup? And then people in the comments were like, um, they're like, well, if you guys like like old rock and stuff, like those guys that with the hair bands and shit, like mm -hmm. they were wearing makeup and like long hair and wearing like tight leather outfits and stuff. So when they put it, when people in the comments said that, I was like, oh shit, like they're right. Yeah, there's hair bands that did that kind of stuff but they weren't necessarily trying to be women or be feminine. Like Ron still, Ron still, Zombie and stuff, they had like the black eyeliner and like black lipstick and well, stuff. Well, he's more like horror type. Yeah, that was more know, like a horror vibe, I guess. Yeah, but like it's still technically vibe. makeup. But then like, you know, the stuff that I was listening to was like your hardcore, like heavy metal, death metal, like pretty extreme. Those guys are just like, they're almost like Hell's Angels. Yeah. You know, just long hair, leather, just, want to just kick ass, you know, very manly, but they got long hair. Right. But they're not feminine, walking around, dainty, twirling, wearing pink and feathers, and you're not going to see which, that. Which we weren't used to because right. we didn't understand the culture yet. But now yeah. that we understand the culture, you know, like it makes more sense now. Yeah. And it also probably helps makeup brands too. Oh, yeah, they're making like, money oh, off these guys. Yeah, like BTS is wearing this shit, yeah. like so should you. I'm sure millions, I'll get you, millions I'll of, get you one for Christmas. Well, I know millions of men around the world are actually buying like 
all of makeup. Oh, for sure. You know, eyeliner and blush and. I think they've kind of normalized yeah. that, especially over in that um, yeah. that culture. Like and it's, it's normal. Becoming now. bigger over here in the U.S., so I'm sure before you know it, you know it'll be the norm. Pretty much everybody at work that you go see, you won't be able to distinguish uh, men or women. They're just all going to be the same. Well, everyone's it's pretty 50, now. 50 equal. Damn. Star. If you turn on your TV any day of the week here in Seoul, you'll find a K-pop show to watch. It's a weekly rapid-fire blast through the latest crop of K-pop acts. These artists are already signed to record labels, but it's a competitive show, a bit of a cross between Top of the Pops and X Factor. Winning can be a huge boost for any act. Winners are selected through votes from the live audience as well as the viewers at home. 음악 방송을 통해서 이제 홍보도 할수 있고 또 그리고 생방송으로 보통 진행이 되기 때문에 사실 굉장히 좋은 기회고 그런 홍보를 할수 있는 수단인 것 같습니다. That's gotta be tough, dude. Jump on it, jump, 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 <laughs> the rookie hip hop group BTS are in the spotlight, and the members are waiting for their turn. Unlike other, could you imagine having to compete with BTS? So wait, this is that was them competing. This is only before they number two. Oh, that's right. So this, this is, is like way before they made it. They were actually there competing live. Holy crap! You're like competing against the future powerhouse yeah, that you right. have no idea about yet. That would be. That's so insane, man. That would be scary, dude. That's like you going into competition and you were competing against like well, elite level like, athletes. Yeah, like well, right you, away. you did a competition and Matt Fraser was there, mm -hmm. remember? And now he's like the world like Champion. leader, yeah, of CrossFit. Yep. But you had no idea at the time who was like next to you competing. Yeah, it was crazy. Just another yeah. random dude competing, and now he's like top notch. It's wild, man. And we weren't like too far apart. Like he's no. good. he's good, but like yeah, you were close. I was kind of close. He's but, I mean, dude, he's incredible. Yeah. Well, like, Rookie stars, uh -huh. they greeted the camera in a relaxed way. Hello. <laughs> Christmas This <laughs> Yeah. 
지금 얼굴 풀로 잡고 있어요. 아, 진짜요? 얼굴이 너무 가까이 잡지 마세요. 메이크업 중. 뭐라고 한마디만 더 해줘요. 사랑해요. 아, 아, 아. It's gotta be hard for the dudes. Like, they have to, like, beat sex appeal. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, it's like almost not fair. It's like you're. They should have two different categories. I have like the men's and the women's. Let the women compete. Let the men on compete. On one day and then the next day. Like, yeah. Because like going up like after like a bunch of like pretty females stripping on or not stripping. I mean pole dancing. They're yeah. literally sliding they're down dancers. poles. They're dancers. They're not strippers. There's no money involved. You're right. They're not getting rained on. God, um, you're right, dude. But them That's having so being brand new guys having to go compete with. Uh, these girls i feel like they're like at a disadvantage automatically like so they can only rely on pure talent because well like, obviously not because look where they are now no no i know i'm saying back then before yeah. they knew they were going to be big like right. this has got to be brutal to go oh over yeah against. absolutely <laughs> Oh. So that song is basically like getting like the youth to wake up because yeah. like they're so structured in their culture like you need to be a doctor you need to be a lawyer like you need to do this 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 but then like the parents don't ask the kids like what is your dream yeah what do you want to be what do you want to do that's probably why BTS blew up so much they connected like yeah all the kids like, connected to what they were saying on a message on a deeper level you know like kids want to be asked like what their dream is too you know right. like they want to have their own opinions and thoughts as well and these guys kind of brought that out of them at like yeah. a young age yeah i don't think they're allowed to really think that way over there i guess i guess you kind of just well apparently they are because bts is the biggest band over there so apparently no, i just meant in general is what i'm saying i, I think but, if it wasn't allowed none of this would be going on it would all be snipped right at the at the beginning you know yeah, maybe. i think they're i think probably their country thinks a lot of a lot of the same way about the USA too. Like we act like we're a free country, but there's so many limitations, oh, laws, yeah. and rules over here where we're not allowed to literally do anything. Or else you'll get a fine, you'll get a ticket, you'll go to jail. Like so, realistically, like we're kind of like a communist country in a way, just under like, I don't know. It's kind of it, America's very weird. It is. It's like it's, everything's like a gray area. There's like a ton of laws, but then like people get off with like whatever they want to do. Sometimes if you have enough money. Well, not even money. It's like a certain political party. You can kind of get away with what you want. Yeah. But as far as them, like, I think a lot of those people can think the way they want. I think it's just like, like culture to do like everything your yeah. parents say and stuff. Like that's kind of more how it's structured. You're allowed to do whatever you want. It's just they have so much respect for their elders over there. Mm -hmm. that so they just family's telling you we want you to be a doctor or a lawyer. They just kind of assume, along. yeah, yeah, and you would just follow and do you don't want to like make your parents yeah, you mad. Disappoint them. We got political for a second there, huh? Yeah, I need to chill on that. 
후에 맞춰서 응원도 해주시고 아, 아 정말, 정말 감동받았습니다. 너무 감사했습니다. 이 시대에 감성을 담는다는 거예요. 특히 젊은 사람들의 청년들이 지금 숨쉬기가 좀 벅차요. 기업 안 되죠. 꿈 가지라는데 이거 꿈 고문이죠. 희망 고문이죠. 근데 그런 것들을 참잘 담아요. 첫 무대를 봤는데 너무 멋있어 가지고 아, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 당사진은 이제 총알을 막아준다는 의미잖아요. 총알처럼 쏟아지는 편견과 억압에서 이제 당당히 저희 세대의 생각과 가치를 지켜내겠다는 그런 심오한 뜻이 담겨 있습니다. 엄청난 포부를 저희가 또 갖고 있죠. 모던 소년단도 가치도 오일 스테이너스. 들었습니다. 데뷔 전에 블로그를 통해서 직접 만든 프리스타일 랩 자작곡도 올리고 기존 곡 위에 랩을 얹어 새로운 편곡한 믹스테이프도 뭐 올리고 네. 굉장히 이슈가 됐었습니다. 요거는 누가 많이 했었던 건가요? 저와 이제 랩몬스터가 가장 많이 했는데요. 네. 블로그를 통해서 네 자작곡도 많이 공개하고 또 저희들이 로그라는 네. 저희들이 하루 일지 같은 음. 영상을 찍어서 어, 예. 네, 매번 이 영상을 블로그를 통해서 올리고 하고 있었어요. 아 직접이요? 네. 예. 편집은 안 하고요. 그냥 영상을 찍어서 어, 예? 바로 올렸어요. 아 그냥 올렸어요? 네. 네. 아니 팬분들이 많이 좋아하시. I think that's my favorite part is that they journaled and documented everything from yeah. the start. Like these are like my favorite documentaries about bands is when you know they didn't even know they were going to be big and they were right. putting so much effort into documenting everything that they were doing. Well, they had such a big dream. I'm sure they wanted to, you know, document the whole process going through. Whether they actually made it or not, they wanted to at least document what they were doing so they'd have something to look back on. It's so and cool, now, too, because, like, imagine, like, you're, like, 75, 80 years old and know. then you can, like, re-look back at, like, where you started as a kid. Like, that's got to be such a good feeling. Well, not only that, but they actually made it. So think of all the videos and stuff that are out there. You know that they can look back on their families can look back on over the years yeah. that they've done it's pretty incredible yeah it's really important stuff for them that's awesome mm -hmm. 하시더라고요. 아 그때부터 네. 좀 팬이 있었군요 네, 네. 네. 그래서, 영, 네. 그래서 연관 검색어에 데뷔 언제 해 데뷔를 하고 이제 처음으로 학교를 간 적이 있었는데 학교에게 이제 기대를 하고 이제 데뷔를 했고 이제 친구들의 반응이 궁금해서 잔뜩 기대가 부풀어서 이제 아, 원, 내가 원하지 않는 그런 미찬 반응이 <웃음> So wait, he's still in school. He was still in school when yeah. he debuted. Yeah, so he debuted and he was like all excited, wondering what his friends would think. And he's like, "Yeah, I got a flat reaction. Like they didn't really like 
They're probably they jealous. Were, yeah, probably jealous, but they weren't like excited for him. That's kind of messed up, man. That probably because like it, find it's out such... who your real friends are real quick. Well, I mean, like over there, like like I said, like they want the kids, the parents want their kids to do, you know, the typical right. job, you know, doctor, lawyer, right. all that stuff. And these guys are doing something so out of the box that only zero point one percent of people get to do. So it doesn't even click or really, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know, resonate for most of those people. They don't understand. They listen to this stuff, but they can never picture themselves yeah, in those situations because they're going down the same path that their parents, right. you know, probably wanted them to go down or their grandparents. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. It's maybe not that they didn't like it. They just probably don't understand. That or like you said in the beginning, maybe jealousy. That probably has a, a part as well. I'd be pumped, dude, if my friend was famous. I'd be oh, like, yeah. fucking, dude, I'm that's not, crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm hanging out with a one percenter right now. Yeah, exactly. Come <laughs> 뭔가 말의 심각성, 말의 중요성에 대해서 많이 느낀다. 음. 정말 얼마 안 되는 네임벨리지만 인신 공격도 많이 받았었고 뭐 일방적으로 정말 미토 끝도 없이 까내리는 비난들 정말 앞으로 얼마나 많이 받을지 모르지만 맞아요. 얼마나 많이 받겠지만 네. 너무 많이 받겠지만 괜찮다, 괜찮고 날 까고 수많은 찬사와 수많은 비난을 받겠지만 항상 당당하고. 항상 나는 이런 사람이고 난 진짜 괜찮은 사람 우리는 진짜 괜찮은 팀이라는 걸꼭 강의시켜주고 싶다 이제 와서 무슨 학생들의 반항 같은 이야기를 컨셉으로 들고 나오냐 철 지난 컨셉이다 비판도 굉장히 Trying to keep them on the same structured path that everybody else has done. Yeah, we gotta keep that machine going. Yeah, because um, the school, like school, is like the best way to to pump out worker bees and non-thinkers. Yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely. You know, like you can memorize a lot of stuff in a book, but like understanding street smarts and business outside of school is like, and talking to people too is massive. Yeah, so if you, if if a hundred percent of people were to do that, nobody would be working exactly. like typical jobs. Wouldn't have any employees. Right. So these, I feel like these people are kind of like the disruptors over there, these yeah. guys. Well, yeah. that's what I said. That way of thinking is outdated. Yep, exactly. I didn't even read that. I didn't, <laughs> but that makes total sense. Yep. Yeah. I'm very proud of them. But I think this whole lyric is actually a message to the me in the past when i was a middle school student i studied really well and i was really smart and good student in school when i just want to study well and i got good school score and uh, the adults and parents just praised me uh-huh. and the adults told me that you could you could you will you will success uh-huh. but i had no dream i had no other dreams So from a lot of the other um, guys that we've watched on some of the other bands in the industry, I I personally feel like these guys are the most real. They seem to be, yeah. Like a lot of the other stuff was just kind of a lot of fake, over the top stuff, trying to just get views and hits. It seemed like like that's my personal opinion. Like well, I've watched probably five or six guys on other bands, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, I don't know, dude. Like I feel like they're not being real with themselves. Yeah, we even, even said it in the last video that we watched at the end that it just. A lot of it just seemed fake. Like it's or like they're paid active. to act like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, like uh, it was like the most basic shit. Like they'd get up off the couch and be like, "Oh, like bro, yeah. come on, you guys like memorize instruments and write lyrics." And yeah. 
co- do core well educated people. Well educated. You play piano, you play yeah. saxophone, you play guitar, drums. Like, bro, you're, you're acting like you're excited because a member got off the couch. Like, it's just too over the top. It's yeah. not, it doesn't feel real. Whereas, like, everything these guys do feels like genuine mm-hmm. and real. I agree. And, like, you know, sometimes they wear like cutesy outfits and stuff, but most of the time, like, they're wearing like dude dudes clothing like basketball jerseys yeah. and stuff like it feels more authentic and real yeah i feel the same way man absolutely whereas like some of the other bands are wearing like tiaras and stuff i'm like yeah why like I, i'm not judging but i'm like is it really you bro no, like it's for the tv show it's for the fans it's for the views yeah that's all it's for they're trying to appeal to the teen girls so they're trying well, that's to like 85 percent of oh i know of it right yeah, like absolutely. the girls love the, the boy bands mm-hmm. 은근지만 내 꿈을 잃어가고 있고 뭔가 이 시발장에서 첫 걸음을 잘 내딛는 것 같아서 기분이 너무 좋다. 나는 그래서 현재를 좀 즐기면서 동시에 바쁘고 열심히 살려고 한다. 그렇게 사람은 잘 힘들겠지 몸이. <웃음> 아무튼 아, 그런 사람이 되고 싶고 곧 멋진 음악으로 또 팬분들 대중분들 찾아뵙고 싶다. 앞으로도 열심히 살고 또 열심히 바쁘게 살 것이다. 올해는 정말 진짜로 너무 너무 중요한 하루가 될것 같아서 기분이 너무 좋다. 화이팅! 엠몬스 화이팅! 김남준 화이팅! 황상수 화이팅! 뜬금 없다. 아무튼 이렇게 로그 끝. It's good that um, that RM is their leader because like he was talking about how all those people were like shitting on him in the comments and stuff mm-hmm. and like he was a big you know producer like he wrote a lot of the rap music and yeah. stuff with Sugar and. You know, he said he was like on on one of the ep- scenes in there. He was like reading comments and stuff, and like he looked like kind of sad for yeah. a minute to like see that shit. But I don't know. He keeps such like a positive attitude the whole entire time. It doesn't really. I'm sure it affects him, but it does. But I mean, you can't let it, dude. I mean, there's just so many negative people out there. You got to stick to your dream, stay focused, and just keep moving. Just keep putting out content. Yeah. Keep going. I mean, you went through <clears> the same shit. We talked about it before, like in your competitions and stuff. There was always negative comments in there. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't know like if that ever I you don't, never said anything, so I don't know if it really ever affected you or not, but you always stayed positive, you always stayed focused, and you always moved forward. I think it's like different too as like an artist, like like me in CrossFit, like I I'm lifting and I'm competing physically against people, but like these guys they're like pouring their heart out like yeah. emotions and pouring their heart out in lyrics and stuff and then to have people like shit on you yeah, that for hurts. like opening up because they're opening up i'm just like angry and like competing and like lifting and yeah. like, you know like it's more like hardcore shit these guys are like actually pouring their feelings right. out and then getting shit on for opening yeah. up it's like makes you want to like close back yeah. up again then you don't want to say anything or write anything yeah but like i said rm i think is such a positive impact on the whole entire group that it probably just tells everybody just like block it out like yeah. keep doing what you're doing at all I'd, I'd, I'd imagine at some point if it's that much negativity you just stop looking like you know yeah. it's going to be negative so at some point you just stop looking at all the comments or all the articles and stuff and you just get focused on what you are doing and you just move forward yeah, I mean, 10 years of getting shit on. That's brutal, dude. Ah, dude. 
Tricks right, and I mean, know, right? the first time it's, just, it's crazy. <laughs> Them like jumping over each other, and like, well, that, that's gonna be tough doing that live, you know. Oh, dude, that would get me nervous, man. Having to hit one, it one, one screw up, and you're in front of millions of eyes watching you. And it's like, if you do screw up, like trying to recalibrate and get back on point instantly, it's like the yeah, hardest part because you're already thinking in your mind, like, Fuck. I just fucked this up, <laughs> yeah. and like if nobody else fucked up and it's just on you, it's so hard to get back in the rhythm yeah. again because you're already calculating like everything you just did and trying to think about the next step. Yeah, but you don't have a choice, man. You just gotta jump Ooh. in and go, man. Make it happen. That was brutal. <laughs> 방탄소년단은 앨범 준비에 들어가면 연습이 곧 공식 스케줄이 됩니다. 연습에만 몰두할 수 있도록 다른 활동은 거의 정지하죠. 그렇다면 시간 단위로 경제적 가치를 창출하는 방탄소년단 입장에서 큰 손해가 아니냐고 생각하시는 분들이 계실지도 모르겠습니다. 처음 방탄소년단 멤버들과 만났을 때부터 지금까지 우리가 가장 중요하게 생각했던 게 스스로 부끄럽지 않을 수 있을 만큼의 완성도였고 이것을 위해서는 어떤 손해도 감수할 수 있다는 마음가짐으로 준비해 임합니다. 결국 우리가 함께 해온 일들은 우리가 앞서 했던 것보다 조금 더 나은, 조금 더 완성도 높은 컨텐츠를 선보이기 위한 여정이었습니다. Yeah. 
2013년 8월 16일 전국의 오후 업무 시간을 비롯으로 하다 지금 감기에 걸려있다. 감성스럽다. 힘들다. 솔직히 힘이 많이 드는데 아, 힘이 많이 들어서 안 되는 동작들이 조금 많다. 그걸 열심히 해서 동작을 어, 바로 잡겠다. 어, 기대도 좋다. 2013년 8월 16일 전국의 로 끝. So I'm wondering, like, obviously that's a lot of choreography, time, dancing, practicing, filming, all the stuff they go through, and it's so physical and demanding. I'm wondering if these guys, like, actually work out too, like a normal like, gym, gym workout, or if this is, like, it for them physically, like, what they do. I mean, bro. Because they're in good shape. They're all pretty lean, pretty ripped, so I'm wondering, like, if they do anything else, or, like, calisthenics, like, body weight exercises, or anything like that. I don't know, man. I mean, working. I mean, dancing for like six hours, eight hours. Probably I mean, just beat and done. You're like, all right. Probably I'm like, if anything. you were to go work out, you probably end up breaking down because you're just overworking. You know what yeah, I mean? If true. they do this like every probably day, too much, man. <clears throat> and then you go work out for another thirty minutes with weights, or you know, another hour, you're like physically just moving, moving, moving for seven hours straight at high intensity. I don't know. I feel like they would end up getting sick. Like their immune system would break down. Or how much they eat. Like, if they're that active doing that many hours, like, what are they eating and how much do they eat? I like, you always wonder that with, like, with us, we always wondered, like, with athletes when they were competing at CrossFit, the volume of work that they were doing, like, what was their diet like? What were they eating to be able to maintain that level of performance and activity? So it's kind of the same thing. They're at a super high level of performance dancing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just nonstop. But they're all, like, really lean, though, and in shape. Right, that's what I'm saying. So I'm wondering, like, what is their diet like? What do they consume to be able to maintain that level of performance? I have no idea. That's, why, that's probably why they call them the Bulletproof Boy Scouts. That's it, man. Because they're freaking ripped. You know? Yeah, they're Bulletproof. <laughs> Yeah. 
다음 시간에 정말 아 진짜 맛있었다 어, 세 그릇 먹고 세 갖고 하지만 빨리 우리가 미필이 찍고 어떤 모습으로 나오게 될지 궁금한 건 마찬가지인 것 같다 다들 멤버들 전부 파이팅 넘치게 연습을 하고 있기 때문에 그걸 보고 있으면 되게 나도 파이팅! 이렇게 에너지가 팍팍팍 올라가서 더 열심히 할수 있게 되는 것 같다 지지 않겠어 2013년 8월 23일 진해 로그 끝! Hey, how are you guys? How are you guys? How are you guys? How are This is why I don't watch TV shows because like I get too into them and then at the end I feel like I lost a girlfriend or something like that. Like, <laughs> it's all over. It's like, oh, yeah, that's it? I want that's more. Of it. But uh, hopefully other people out there will create more content on BTS. Yeah, well, we got <clears throat> 21 of these plus we have deleted scenes and we bonus. have bonus scenes. So we yeah. got plenty of content for a while for almost the next year. I think we'll, we're, it goes until December, right? Almost December, this will take us to. So we got <coughs> tons, and tons of BTS comment. <coughs> 20, 21 weeks. Yeah. 21 weeks. So that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 5 months, basically. Like November 25th, almost to December. Damn, that's a long time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we got plenty of time. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we had a great time with this one. This one's actually, I'm like super into it. Um, so thank you for recommending the rise of bang tan. This shit is fire. Um, also guys, uh, make sure to like subscribe, hit that bell notification. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, chapter three, the video will be out on YouTube, but the bonus and the deleted scenes, deleted scenes will be on Patreon only. Right. <clears throat> so if you want so, those <clears throat> sign up on Patreon. Yeah. Also, uh, thank you to everybody on Patreon for supporting us and everybody on GoFundMe. Um, if everybody could go over there and help donate, we really need a new computer. This one's crashing on us. Like I said, this one doesn't screen record. That one doesn't screen record. This one can only edit. So we're having to literally film the screen with our phone, which is like not anything that we want to do, but it's just improvising for right now until we can save up enough money. Uh, to get a new computer that can actually handle the workload. So if you guys could go over there, link right above uh, for GoFundMe, we'd really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.